and we're live i'm not seeing it yet but i know we're live hey guys look who's here hello hello hey y'all we're all back to give you some laughs and pretty glass to this evening i was trying to pretend I'm i was frozen it. it didn't work Hi. <laughs> i had to blink. Oh, there we are 10 second lag who we got? Who we got? Debbie's in the house. Sandy, my mom. Hi, Edith Pope. We've got Hi. Michelle and Beth, but we all know Michelle and Beth. Hi, Hi mom. John is here. Huh? Hashtag Team John is here. Yep, Team John is in the background. Hashtag Team Kate talk about the children's in the background. <laughs> Don't get my channel in trouble. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the nudity, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Angela, I do not this particular time. Mine's coming up in. Uh, in Hold the on, let's let's see if I can just give a. Oh, 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 maybe. Oh, maybe. Angela, ask about um, black. If we have any black glass this particular sale, I don't. I think I know, there is some in the like sale. A side thing. Hey, Belinda, Butterfly hi, Nurse, hi. Mackenzie. Oh, hi, Tambu83. That's my mom. Hey, Michelle's mom. Everyone's coming in. Thanks for coming, guys. If you don't know me and you're coming over from Beth and Michelle's channels, I'm Christine of Side Street Market. And then we have... I'm Beth, Carolina Princess, Sweet Treats and Pretties. Hey, y'all. And the troublemaker in the bottom box. I'm Michelle <laughs> from Newton's Cupboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey guys. So tonight we have an all glass sale for you guys because we thought we needed some shipping experience and this would be fun. <laughs> uh, you're bright eyes, man. Yeah, I have no idea who you're talking about. I never wanted that. Hey, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Michelle, your mom said, yes, you are. Yes, I am what? The truck maker of the group. I, Catherine, that's right. I'm trying to see if you glow. That's what it is. They're not going to fess up, but we did have a little bit of a party before we got live, before we went live. So it was like There's a that. moment thing. We just a had a little breathe going yeah. on. Hey, Sue. Hey. And we're so wearing our shirts, but you can't see them because we all oh, are so low. Our blue eyed babe shirts. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Don't mention it, guys. <laughs> but since Don't. we showed all that, y'all can send your dollar bills. Our emails are right here. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Stephanie. Welcome. Don't get mad, John, trying to pay off the debt. Yep. All, all glass, Stephanie. All glass related items. It's uh, Christine's idea. Yeah, it was Beth's idea. <laughs> but then. She started this problem, so now I have to part with some of it. <laughs> Put that water everywhere. <laughs> Ugh. We're nuts, -os. We like to have fun. So I know most of y'all have been to the sales before, and so our emails are on the screen. If you buy something from one of us and you've bought from us before, we don't need your info. If you've never bought from us before, you need to email us individually because we're all in different states your real name, your PayPal, your uh, YouTube name, and your shipping address, because shipping will be additional. And Beth is shipping from Texas. Yep. I am shipping from Florida, and Michelle is shipping from Kentucky. And do keep in mind tonight, we do have some chunky, good glass items for you. We will try to um, tell you wait, but just be mindful of that. So if you're in California buying glass from me, that's four pounds. Just keep that in mind. So... Um, and I know that there's a new shipping thing for international, but it has to be under four pounds that it kind of cuts the price in half. So, and all of our info is also in the description. So if you forget and just come back to the description at the end of the video and we got you covered. We'll also have some offer ups going on. And I think with those, um, as we'll tell you the starting price, if you like it, you throw that in. We'll go along, and if it hits $50, we'll do $5 increments from there to help keep it moving along. And that's all the yada yada, the technical uh, stuff. My glass is offended that you called it chunky. I'm just saying. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with chunky. Are you okay? It's Our okay. curves. It's okay. <laughs> hey, Carrie Ann. 
Hi, Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. I knew Sabrina was going to be here. She saw uranium. So she's and here. also, everyone's channels are linked below. I think I'm pretty sure all of y'all know all of us, but if you haven't been to one of our channels, all of our YouTube channels are linked below as well. That was your public service announcement. <laughs> Tips are always appreciated. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to make money, y'all. I need to feed my kids. And you got a lot of them. <laughs> Hoodlums over there. So what do you guys think? Do you want to get started or did I miss anything? Anyone you want to say hello to? Hello. I Hi. Well, how are you? <laughs> you look like that Del the Delta commercial in flight, like the, the thing. <laughs> you just got off the plane. She's like, I just got off the plane. You all would face this. <laughs> Put the strap over the buckle and blow into the tube. <laughs> yeah. Wait, do you blow or strap yourself in first? You strap yourself in, pull a pull. What you say? Like where is Debbie? Debbie knows our airline stuff. Down, pull down swiftly on the tab. If it does not inflate, blow into the tube. And then she mocks blowing into. I was like, this is ridiculous. My favorite, I guess it's because military, how they always have to say, take care of yourself first before you take care of like someone beside you or your family members, because you're not going to be alive if you don't help <laughs> yourself first. And I always want to be like, duh. Like Wait, the new one is, to, um, if in the event oxygen should be needed, please remove your face mask before putting your oxygen mask on. They literally say that. Well, you never know in panic. But you, that's why there's caution hot on coffee cups. Because <laughs> oh, somebody playing. John wants to know if you had drinks on the plane, Beth. No, no. I, can. Oh, I don't drink at all. Can you imagine, Lord, I try to get water in, but then, you know, I sat in the middle seat all the way to California and all the way back from California. No, hey, Judy. No, Hi. Hey, Kim. Um, hey, Miss Judy. And Andrea, ready? Andrea. Mm -hmm. let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get. And we've got go, Miss Beth go, up go. first. Go, go. All okay, dokie. Okay. We're gonna start small, y'all, but cute. Um, there, I have a little paperweight that is a little penguin. So it's clear glass with the blue inside. I'm gonna try to get as close as I can so you can see his little face. He does have the little indentions here for the eyes little ribs on the wings got a little tail back here on the bottom it is a cloudy bottom and it looks like there might be a nick right here only because it's not cloudy it's not rough or anything um but i did want to disclose that right there um and i've been watching that uh blown away show so like i am in love with how they do this now so if you have not watched that blown away show do that so he's small. He is only three inches tall and wingspan is two inches. So three inches here, two inches here. This little cute glass penguin is only $7 and he is number 12. The penguin paperweight is $7, number 12. Listen, y'all need to stop showing cute stuff when we can't bid on it. Oh, sorry. I'm just saying. It's not. Hi, Maria. Hey, book. Oh, look, Dolores stayed up for y'all, y'all, us, y'all. All right. Um, the next thing is my first offer up, and it is going to start at $12. So I'm putting that in right now. Oh, I tried to. Do you need me to do that for you, Beth? Too late. I already got it now. <laughs> um, but let me know if you need me to do it. This and this one's a chunker. This one is one of the chunky people. But it is this beautiful bowl, and um, it's got wonderful designs on that. It is a three-footed bowl. Let me show you on the back so you can see the design at the bottom. And you guessed it. It is uranium. I'm gonna show you that. But I love. The design around the edges 
Um, now I will disclose that there are some small chips as you can see underneath and it's on one side. So from this, from there, so on this one, these one, two, three, four, five, six, it's on those six. And, um, but it is beautiful and it does glow. It has a great little glow to it. Is that the ball that you went back to get? Yeah, because my friend Michelle told me, yes, it was uranium. And I was like, I don't think it's uranium. And then it made me think about it. And I had to go back because um, it was uranium. So, Michelle. But um, it, it's a beautiful bowl. Let me give you some dimensions. I see Sabrina is at 12. It's really large, y'all. It is almost 11 inches across and it is three inches tall. Now, Sabrina, do you want the weight? Do, I see Sandy is at 15. Uh, do y'all want the weight on it? Because um, I'm shipping from Texas and the weight of the bowl is about two pounds, eight ounces but it is really big and has great uranium glow on that. Thanks to Michelle, because Christine and I were uncertain. I can't even see what I'm doing. Um, if it would glow, but the design, can y'all see the pretty design? Yeah. It even has the design on the feet. It has a leaf pattern on the feet um, and it has the dots in between. Uh, the embossment is on the back on this part. So it's smooth on this top part, smooth all on the inside. The embossment is on the back. I see Sabrina at 25. Again, I do want to disclose that there are small little chips on like maybe a one, even if I look at the smallest, one, two, three, four, five. They're like these, I think it's like five or six, but they're underneath. They are not sharp. I'm running my finger all across there. Um, and I got some sticky on it just now when I touched my water. I see Sandy's out. So we have Sabrina at 25. I've all seen um, sugar, Lori and Sugar Bridges, her husband's display cabinet. Oh, That's amazing. So beautiful. And so chips don't matter if you have a black light on them. And yeah, they're so glowing. Oh, the black light on like a chip, you don't, you don't really, it's when you come off of it that you can see it, but on there, I mean, it has a wonderful glow. And of course, Michelle's the one that, that said, yes, it would glow. I just love the design on the feet right there. So where are we y'all? Do we need to start counting down? Mm -hmm. Sandy, Sal, and Sabrina's at 25. Yep. All right. We want to start counting down. We're at 25 for this bowl. Again, it's 11 inches. Um, it's 11 inches across. It does stand three inches tall. And I would say that it's about two and a quarter inches deep. So it's, it's a large, large bowl. It would be beautiful in a display. And I even found it bigger, y'all. I just, my, the video today that came out is that very large, huge uranium bowl that I, so um, if we want to start counting down, we are at what, 20, what are we at? 25. Sabrina's at 25. For Sabrina, so let's go ahead and count it down. We'll count down from 10. We are not doing just in case. So let's get our bids in before I type in stop. Um, and it is $25 is with Sabrina right now at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm gonna wait for the countdown in the lag. Oh, sorry, I put in sold already. That's okay, but uh, stop. So we have a sold to Sabrina Simon for $25. Thank you, Sabrina. She was wanting that bowl for some time. All right, so um, we're doing each five at a time. So my third item is much smaller. It's a fixed price item. 
Um, because I do cannot say specifically, I'm going to call this Wexford design. I do think it is Wexford, um, but it's that Wexford pattern here. It is one cruet bottle. It does have the stopper and the stopper does have the plastic guard around it. A lot of times our, our stoppers are missing that plastic guard, which causes them to get broken. But the detail in this bottle is absolutely beautiful. You can use it with or without the stopper. You know, I'm a big fan of clear glass to bring it back, but this can be used for a vase um, or it can be used because it seals for an actual, um, like an oil or vinegar or something like that. But this Wexford Cruet bottle with the stopper is only $6 and it's number 18. Six dollars, number 18 for the Wexford Cruet bottle. That's a good price. Yeah, remember I don't have eBay. <laughs> well, yes. I was just thinking my mom has some of those in her German shrunk that she bought in Germany. Oh yeah. Is that where that is, that design pattern is from? I have no idea. I just know she bought them over there. Probably when they were a bunch of drunks when we were little. <laughs> oh, mom's on here. Hi. Oh, hi, mom. Um, okay, my next item is also, Christine, do you want to type in start at 12? Might make it faster. You got it. Um, this one is, oh, it's so pretty. But it is for fall, y'all. It is time for fall. But I just put this on Instagram. This is a pressed um, mold piece. And it looks like it was done in four pieces, actually. But it is a beautiful, that ruffle design. And then it has the diamonds. Now, the diamond go pattern goes in. It's not out. It is an in-press. You can see right over here, it's in-press versus out. And then it has the um, beautiful design, the smaller diamonds there. No chips or cracks in this whatsoever. It is starting at $12. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Let me give you the weight. It's not as heavy as the bowl. It's one, one pound, about 15 ounces. And um, it's a big one too. It is Very elegant. I love the curving on that. Yeah, it is so pretty, but seven and a half inches tall and from about eight and eight and a half inches wide. So this one is so pretty. I just love this design right here. Of yeah. Andrea at 12. Andrea at 12. Now this is about one pound, 15 ounces. So, um, and I'm shipping from Texas, but Andrea at 18. Okay. Um, again, no chips or cracks whatsoever. You can tell that it's a pressed mold there. It has the seam, seam design that goes all the way up. But isn't that beautiful? With some um, greenery and maybe some larger, one of those sugar bead-like type of uh, fruits, like a pear or something in that. Oh, that'd be so pretty. Those uh, pearly, what are they called, Christine? The pearly succulents. Oh, yeah. great. What? Oh, now I don't remember. There's something pearls. I don't know. You're the plant lady. <laughs> this is, um, again, it's. Oh. You have Andrea at 19. Eight and a half inches. Stephanie it's says it looks like an ice cream cone. You could put a sundae in that. Why not? I'll take it. Now, let me tell you how deep it is since you said that. Um, it's about, even from the highest, it's four and a half inches deep. So it's four and a half inches deep. It's eight and a half from um, wave to wave. And it is seven and a half inches tall. So I just, I like that the triangles are impressed there, but I was even wanting to see on the blown away how they would do this. But because this is pressed and not hand blown, doesn't have a Ponty mark or anything like that. I, I just sound so smart. I've watched that TV show on Netflix show, I'm just smart. So don't forget if you're out, make sure you put out so we know that. Yeah, if you're out. You got your max. Yeah. So, so we have Andrea Kane for $19. So we're looking for Maria to come back in or just let us know she's out. Ice cream for two. Have you all seen Beth or Christine eat out of an ice cream container or even Team John? 
I'm all about like not sharing. I love to get the little ones. Eating ice cream out of containers. I don't need to share then. I can't so, have ice cream. So we're gonna go ahead and start the countdown. We're at 19, and once I'm gonna type in stop once I hear it say the countdown um, because I don't know how much the lag is. So um, I'm gonna count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, we're at 19, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and I'm going to wait for it to hear stop. That must be a Texas way of counting. Slow and steady. Slow and steady, girl. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much, Andrea. I have you, Andrea Kane. Make sure that you send me your information, please, to the email right here. And it is SC Princess and the number one at <laughs> Comcast. Uh, Dot net. So I don't, I don't have a Gmail. Okie dokie. My last one for this round is a hand painted Christmas ornament. Does come in the original box. It is, I, I want to say, I don't know if these are German or not. I cannot pronounce that. So that's what it is. But it does. Pop. It says mouth blown glass with hand painted decoration. Let me take it out and try to show it to you without dropping it because it is so detailed. Um, it's even got the little black cat or dog right here with the dome. And it says these beautiful mouth blown glass balls and candle holders are painted are hand painted on the inside. The artist uses a special brush with a 90 degree angle. The motifs are carefully drawn before the details are added one color at a time layer by layer. The entire process may take up to two days and the result is a unique collectible item. So this is a little winter scene. We've got a barn there. Looks like a little house or a barn. It's got the little gnome with the black cat. Yep, that's a black cat. But the detail, look at the windows and everything in that. This is going to be $10.00. And it is number 15, $10, number 15 for the mouth blown hand painted Christmas ornament. That's unique. That's different. Mouth blown glass ball. And then it's painted with a 90 degree angle brush. I can't paint with That's impatience is what that is. And I do have the little box that it comes in. So, hey, Pamela. That was this one. That was number 15 for $10. And I think that those, that's my five. All righty. Hey guys, guess it's my turn. All righty. Wait, wait. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> You're our intro girl, huh? Yeah. So first up, I have this piece of green carnival glass. It's got these beautiful embossed large flowers on it. I was trying to find the pattern last night. I didn't have any luck because I didn't realize how big my encyclopedia was. The handle is actually carved like tree branches. And when you shine a black light in it, the lower half does have a slight glow to it. I don't know if it's going to show up on here for you guys. So the top part doesn't have a bright glow, but there is a touch of uranium or something in the bottom here. This guy is, I always do that, five inches long by three and a quarter inches across and about three and three quarter inches tall. And it is like a little creamer. I thought it would also be cute for like um, Christmas decor. It's just a really nice green color. This creamer is $15 and number 26. $15 number 26 for the green iridescent carnival glass creamer. I'm liking carnival glass. Yeah, me too. And my next is for those who like pink depression glass. I got you some chunky candle holders. So these are really great because you can put the regular tapered in the lower part, or you can have a big 
um, heavier heavier candle, chunky candle. They are, let's see, three and a half inches in diameter. And I like the kind of star pattern on the bottom. You said they're pink? Yeah, I know they're showing up a little orange, but yeah. they're like a peachy pink. I don't know if they'll show up better back here. That's really cool how it showed different. Do you have a white piece of paper? But it's got all my numbers and stuff on it. They're like a light, they're like yeah. a peachy pink. Oh, oh yeah. Peach color now. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. I didn't know I was doing that. It's okay. I thought it was more orangey, and I was thinking Halloween, so. Oh, yeah. No, these are definitely like that that typical pink depression, just a little bit. Um, Because they're thicker, it's a stronger pink than you see on the plates. So it's like a Kim, oh, my vintage fancy pink. Yeah. Okay. That's who I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah i just thought they were neat i've not seen i've seen like the tapered and the wide base ones but nothing that you can use multiple candle sizes in so i thought that was kind of nice and versatile and you could also turn it upside down and use it for staging things as well in a vignette because it's got a nice solid base to it so yes kim we're talking about you so for the set of these it's 14 dollars and number 21 and i never find two i just find one yeah yeah, I have that too sometimes. Okay. And I guess we can start with an offer up. Do one dun, of those. Dun, dun. So this is a Wait, is a oh Kim. Yeah. Is a John. Is he doing your offer ups? Yes. Okay. Yes. So this one is going to start at 15. I see Kim click number 21. Thank you, Kim. I'm going to start saying everything's for Kim. <laughs> okay, so is that in there? Okay, yeah. so this one's going to start at 15. And this is a Fenton. Oh, gosh, is it going to show up? Mm -hmm. It is stamped Fenton. It is this beautiful red, like, cram ruby red hobnail ruffle vase and i think when i looked it up they called it like a square vase but it's got the gorgeous cadmium in the bottom and in the in the rimming so when you black light it if you guys saw on my channel the other day john can you try the light to see if i don't know if you guys can see that on the side light. yeah it's coming off just a little bit oh right there if you like i think if you hold it up a little bit you can see the bottom yeah Nope, go back. Yeah. Yeah. So the that and the top lights up. I tried to do a video and post it on Instagram because I know my thing, my phone doesn't like it. So this one's starting at 15 if you're interested. And it's got the lovely cadmium across the top and the bottom glows as well. It's a nice ruby red. I just love this in the sunlight. I was I, watching someone's video. I don't remember. They're doing a lot of that red for Halloween. Mm -hmm. like oh, really? Bloody Mary theme. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. I see Sabrina at 15. It's a very nice hobnail. I actually have some candlesticks that match it. I got with this and a, a com, comport. And uh, I ended up keeping those. And I was like, okay, I can't keep all three. <laughs> I oh, think and I need you guys to size. I'm sorry. No, sorry. I was, thought it was funny that they called that a square vase when I was doing that fit and research. Yeah, I wasn't, I because I was reading that last night because I have the same book and I was like, whoa. So it's four and a quarter inches tall and five inches in diameter. I see Sabrina at 15. I'm just going to give it one more minute. That is pretty at Halloween too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this would be really great for Halloween. I see Debbie at 16. And I wish, like... Oh, that's see. a perfect size for campers. Oh. When you had it tilted, I can't show you an item because it, like, you had it at an angle and we were able, right there. See the orange on the bottom? Yeah. Bit? yeah. Oh, bottom. Look at me touching the screen, like, right here. <laughs> yeah, right there. See that? <laughs> yep. So the whole bottom glows with that really awesome... It fades off towards the top, so it's thicker at the bottom, and then it's got it in the crimping on the top, too, which is neat. So cool. We have Debbie at 18. And I was reading that crimping 
it's hand done. Mm -hmm. The glass was hot. So yeah, I just I've just never seen a red like this in person. It's just so in the sunlight. It's amazing. Okay, I see Sabrina's out. So we got Debbie at 18. I'm going to count down in New York fashion. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold to Debbie, our Vagabond Travels. That's like counting down for New Year's Eve. That's what, you know. Yeah, nurse, they go fast, them New York people. <laughs> yeah, New York Minute. New York Minute. That's right. Although talking to y'all for so long, you can't tell on guy in New York left in me. <laughs> that one <laughs> says y'all. <laughs> so He's next up, y'all. What? I said you say y'all now. I know. Like, I know. You guys corrupted me. <laughs> go girl. Hey, Sue. Oh, my mom said go girl. <laughs> okay. So this guy is going to be a fixed price. And it's funny because Alex just had one of these in her sale on Sunday. Um, so when I was looking at it now, this one is not labeled Fenton. Right. So I'm not going to say it's a definite Fenton piece. It is a thumbprint ruffle. And I didn't know there was something called a comport versus a compote. I just called them all a compote. So this is a comport. And what's so, huh? What's the difference? I think the comports, uh, compotes are actually a little bigger and wider open. They're like a bigger version. Hmm. So um, I, this is the Colonial Blue. And like I said, it is not marked Fenton, but it looks like the picture in the Fenton book, but it's just a pretty blue piece. This guy is six inches tall and it is five and three quarter inches diameter. It is going to be $22 and number 23. Almost like that thumbprint pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can fit your, you put your thumb right on it and feel it. It, it pushes in, not out. It's another beautiful color one that I was like dying when I got it. I'm like, I love that blue. It's blue. Okay. So that's four. So my last one is going to be another offer up. And I'm not sure which one to do. I'm so torn. Okay. <laughs> it's it's for the birds. Mining mo. So oh. I'm going to call this a phoenix or, or a swan. Okay. This one, again, so we're going to start at $16. Let me say that first. This guy will start at $16. And I don't know if it's flash painted. It's an Amberina. I'm not seeing any paint peel off. There is a little scratching on the bottom, but it is polished on the bottom. And when you put the black light on it, there is a little bit of the cadmium in the base of this piece. So I thought that this was really, really neat. You have Sabrina with 16. Thank you, Sabrina. It's got beautiful coloring. The weight on this guy, let me just get that for you. Cause this is a very solid base one. It's about a pound, 11 ounces. So it'll be over two pounds with shipping material. And it's got the black is applied to the head and the nose. There's no, there's no like damage or there's just a little bit of roughness on the underside of the beak, but otherwise there's no issues. It is. Let's see, seven and three quarter inches long by four and a half inches across. So wow. I'm just going to give it one more minute. We've got Sabrina at 16. And Sabrina says she has a cabinet like Lorian's husband. So you have to show us. Oh, oh that's awesome. That's going to be really nice. All right. I'm going to start counting down for Sabrina at 16. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, out of here. Straight right to Sabrina. <laughs> What'd she say, Michelle? <laughs> she said, you out of here. Oh, you out of here. I can't even say it. And now we have Michelle. <laughs> Time to... Hold on, hold on. Inglow, inglow, inglow. Okay. So the first item that I have and I ship from Kentucky. Oh, and I should say that I have um, two helpers. Not going to say anything else. So, Christine, don't get shut down. Um, why are you looking at me like monkeys? Anyway, um, so you might see them 
comment or say something in the chat, but they're helping. Okay. Your mom um, said and mom, don't say anything about them being young, many people being people because it might, we don't want to, what happened to me happened to Christine. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. All right. So the first thing I have is this uranium divided dish. Um, this is, I'm pretty sure anchor hawking, but also a lot of people took their molds. So, um, they sold them afterwards, you know, that's how companies did. The one thing I will tell you is, oh shoot. Um, number one, will you put this as an offer up starting at 11? I'm so bad at this. Number one. I got you covered. She's getting paid. <laughs> okay, there we go. Nope. Come on. I know I gotta wait for it to come through. Okay. Down, 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 down. There we go. Okay. So, um, this divided dish, I don't believe it was supposed to have a lid because it does not have like a lip where something would sit on top of it. The only issue is there's some wear on the bottom and I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see it. Um, can you all see the line that goes through? Yeah. You all can see that line. So it's not a crack. It's like a scratch. Um, it's better if you hear it with my nails. Maybe not. Anyway, so it's this uranium divided dish. Just to tell you, it weighs one pound, three ounces. Here's the glow. That's what you all want anyway. <laughs> and the diameter is six and a quarter inches. So this was an offer up starting at 11. Did someone say anything? Yeah. Well, Sabrina. Okay. Sabrina is at 11. Oh, there it is. Okay. It does glow. It's beautiful just this cool divided dish you could do this for halloween and have like your candy in there and creep kids out and like turn the light on turn it off might think that'd be cool yeah. or just be in a dark room and light it up and there would be the candy that would be fun that's what i'm gonna do to my kids and be like, <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so i'm gonna start counting down 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done, 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 done. All right, now Mackenzie put in stop. Thank you. Good job. You have to put that in, baby. You just put at Kennedy. Show her how to. Okay. Okay, the next thing I have is a fixed price. And there are seven of these and they are miniature glass vegetables. So I'll try to show you them all together and they come in this fancy gold box. Okay. Ooh. That makes them um, worth a million. So y'all go ahead and start bidding a million, even though it's a fixed price. Just kidding. Okay. So here is the corn. I oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I can't do them all at once. Okay. So here's the corn. Those are cute. Uh, they're almost as cute as me. Almost. 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 So there's the corn. And I don't know if this was supposed to be a loop because some of these do seem like they have loops except this one. Um, it is kind of rougher, but I thought that was part of the corn. Maybe it's a corny piece. <laughs> she got jokes. Yeah. So anyway, here's this one. This one weigh or weighs. This one measures. They're all going to measure about the same. This is an inch and three quarters. Then we have the pumpkin. Oh, I love the pumpkin. And again, this one, I think the stock was supposed to come out just a little bit more, but it's 
it's a little rough right there. Okay, and then we have what I think is the tomato or the strawberry. What would they have been hung on? I mean, why would they have been hung? I don't. I'm wondering if they were for um, like wine glasses where they put the little trinket at the bottom so people don't mix up their glasses at parties. You put them on the little ring and they they sit on the base of a wine glass. I have no idea. Or a cherry. Could be a cherry, y'all. Could be. Y'all can say whatever they want. Okay, this is like three peas in a pod. Aw. Cute. And it has the loop as well. I see them in there. Yeah, see? Three peas in a pod. Aww. Okay. And then here is the eggplant. And this purple. That's so cool. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I don't even know if I can show you. Oh, there we go. The purple Ooh. is like really, really purple. Oh, yeah. You can see it at the bottom. There you go. Yeah. They don't glow. I'm just showing you the purple. And there's control bubbles inside. Here's this one. The red hot pepper. And these, they're glass. Okay, so there's the pepper. And then here's the cool carrot. It's my oh favorite. Oh gosh, it's so cute. And it even has like realistic lines, ribbed lines. Hard to show, like there's one. Okay, so you get all seven. They are $12, number 51. $12.51. And I'll tell you these measure. I see Sandy has a uh, four Sandy's lilac has 51. Four ounces is how much. Thank you, Sandy. Those are so cute. Those are darling. They're so darling. Okay. The next thing I have is this cake plate. It's uranium. It glows. It's gorgeous. Um, this is, golly, thought I would remember. I'm not remembering. I believe this is Anchor Hawking, and this is called the Spiral, Spiral Scalloped Pattern, I believe, but that's probably wrong. Don't quote me on that, okay? I didn't write it down. Um, but anyway, it's this beautiful cake plate. The top is smooth. Oh, sorry. Mackenzie, offer up starting at 12. I always forget. I know. Um, so anyway, the top is smooth. And then the bottom is footed. And each part, it's going to be hard to show you. There we go. Okay, so there's only one chip part. And it is right here, this little bitty piece. Now, it is a little bit rough, but... Um, I've had a few pieces that my husband's been like putting a little bit of sandpaper on and smoothing them down or a light Dremel, he said, with um, the buffing pad will actually smooth it down as well. Anyway, so it's this cake plate. Oh, and the bottom underneath has these um, like this scalped pattern and this is textured between each of these. The diameter of this is nine and three quarter inches, and this weighs. Sabrina's at twelve. This weighs one pound thirteen ounces. So I'll show you again that it glows. Ooh, that's a good glow. Yeah, I mean, it the has uranium is strong in that one. It has um, like a few scratches from wear and stuff, but the only chip part is that one at the bottom right there. That's a neat scallop footing on that. I'm not yeah. seeing with a base like that. So here's it going around. That's pretty. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, you got 13, 2, 1. Did you put in stop? I love vintage. Yes. Okay. I love vintage. Six. Yeah. 
66. If you'll just send me your info, I don't think I have it. And Sabrina, that I Love Vintage came before. Okay. The next one I have is um, this amber footed bowl. Oh my gosh, this is an offer up too. Holy moly. Okay. Mackenzie, this is an offer up starting at 25. You all will see why in a second. Let me go ahead and weigh it for you. This weighs three pounds, 13 ounces. It is this large, oh, I love this, footed bowl with this lid, and there's two birds on here. Aww. So I'm, let me show you what I think it glows. I'm just going to say, it looks like it to me. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say for sure, but to me, it does look like it has some glow to it. Um, so let me pick off the top and I'll show you the bottom. Here's the bottom. Andy's at 25. See how the glow kind of is coming through. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I'm not sure is because when you look in the inside, this is not flashed. It looks flashed. I feel like on the screen, but it's not, it's like a deeper red, a lighter red. You, you know what I mean? Like, some parts are deeper, some parts are lighter. When you turn it like this, let's see if I can see it's like oh, look at the birds on the side too. I didn't yeah. notice that. That is so beautiful. And then there's the star pattern. And it's footed. And each of these are applied. Those there's are three feet. And then here's the very bottom. And I could not find a maker. I've done so much research on this that I have no idea who the maker is. Okay, so now let me show you the top. So it's these beautiful two birds. And they have, you know, their indented eyes. You can see their beaks. Really pretty. No chips or cracks anywhere on this piece at all. This is almost like the diamond point pattern, but again, I'm pretty sure it's glowing, but it's hard, hard to tell sometimes on the red. Oh, and I forgot to show you the edge of the top of the bowl. Here's the top. So it has this cut glass pattern. We're at 25 for four standees lilac. So the next bid would be 26. Okay. And uh, let me measure it. It stands all together eight inches tall. And if I take the lid off and just measure the bottom, it is seven inches in diameter. So we're at 25. All right, I'm going to start counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. All right, Mackenzie, put in who won. That was a great price. Christine, I just noticed that you're counting down with your fingers. <laughs> I was just trying to help. <laughs> I don't ever do that. I don't know why. It's just kind of weird. All right. That's all to <laughs> Michelle, I have one like that in blue, and I have trouble telling if it's glowing or not also when I try to shine on it. Yeah, it's really, real. I'm going to say it does glow, but. Yeah, but yours definitely had that beautiful orange tinge. Yeah. Okay, we're just waiting on to see who went, who made. Thank you, Yvonne, for reminding everyone to give a thumbs up. 
And LaDonna says maybe a Moser glass. Uh, someone mentioned that whenever they saw it in the video, but when I looked it up, the Moser one was all flat on the bottom, so I wasn't sure. Might be. I don't know. Okay, Mackenzie, who won that one? It's not coming through. For Sandy, you won that one. And Kennedy, you wrote it down? Okay. Probably getting the problem with them being under. And they mm. can't comment. Okay. And that last thing for this round is this open life piece. Uh, golly, I didn't, why do I not write anything down? Um, so it's an open lace bowl and it does glow. Oh, wow. It glows really, really well. This is going to be a fixed price item because there are some issues with this. So the open lace, I'm trying to find the problems right here. There is a little, whoops, wrong place. Right here, there is a little bitty chip. And then over here, there's a scratch right in the middle. And then right here, there is a crack that looks like it goes all the way through. And then over here, it's the same way. So it looks like maybe like these three pieces broke and someone reattached them, or maybe they didn't crack all the way through, but I thought it was too pretty of a piece to leave. So it is I got it. Um, so anyway, I'll show you the glow again. So pretty. It's gorgeous. I, I picture that Easter with some of that like um, nest stuff in it and like mm -hmm. eggs that maybe with black light paint. Oh yeah, that would be pretty. Okay, so if you're interested in this bowl, it is $15, number 50. $15, number 50 for the bowl. I see four Sandy's lilac on my end. All righty. That's All why right. I saw coming first, too. I believe that's my five. Okie dokers. Tammy Renee said, Walker says, y'all killing me with all these great pieces. All right, I'm going to start with a blue piece. It is an offer up. And Christine, do you want to put that it starts at $12, please? Yep. It is a blue piece. I'm calling it a compote because it is a thicker and, and it does not have all that fancy ruffle. It's that, um, I don't know what you call this, but it's not the darker blue. It's the light like aqua blue. And I don't think that's thumbprint because I mean it's not oval shaped. It's just it might be a coin print. Is that a coin? It might now be a it does coin not have print. a lid, and it does not have uh, anything that would show that it sat down or a resting place on there. There's also no chips or anything on the top, which usually happens. It has no mark on it whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I think you're right, Christine. I think that is coin. Um, but it is going to start at $12 and I love the color. It is right at five and a half inches tall. It's starting at $12 and it is four and three quarter inch diameter. Um, it weighs like one and a half pounds, but it is absolutely beautiful with those little coin, no chips, no scratches, no cracks. It is a press mold. You can see the line on the other side. I love the pedestal on it. I can see that like in a nautical centerpiece, if someone has like a tall cream pillar candle with like seashells around it or at Christmas time, do yeah. like the silver with that in there. Be really pretty. Put one of the white, um, the snow type of Christmas trees in mm. the silver, silver mercury balls on that. That would be really pretty. I thought about like, um, you know, Michelle, how by your kitchen you have one, it's a little probably bigger than this, but it has like a little hands, your hand soap and everything on there. Um, I thought that in the bathroom would be great. So, so versatile, but I love this color. But I um, am not seeing anyone right now. I'm going to go ahead and count it down just for GP. It is 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let me go to the next item. The next item is a set. Um, it's going to be a flat price of $9. This is a Gemco, I think it is called, USA. It is a little sugar with the plastic top. Great 70s color, clear on the bottom. And it's all nice and clean, no chips on the rim or anything. Um, clean in the bottom. There's this piece and there's this little shaker piece. Now the little shaker piece, I didn't want to mess with it, but so it, it doesn't have the spring. It has the apparatus just needs to be put back together. But because I'm, I don't know how to do it. I didn't want to do it. Um, it has the shaker in there. It has the diamond pattern in there. It does not, I want to say, is this Imperial? If it has the little armor looking thing in it, I couldn't remember if that's Imperial or not, but um, it does not have any cracks or anything around the rim as well. This has 1C79 is the only marking on that, but there's going to be this set of two for $9, number 16, $9, number 16 for the two little containers a sugar and i think it's that's a spice is it spice or like a salt pepper i'm not sure all right that's number 16 for nine dollars um let's see the next is an offer up and it starts at 14 christine if you want to put that in for me and i showed this on um instagram it is a beautiful emerald green art bowl, and it has the gold and the orange swirl dots in there. Um, this does have a pretty clear polished bottom on there. There are one or two bubbles in it, and it is a ruffled edge. This is starting at 14 and it is eight inches in diameter and it is two and a quarter inches tall and there are some in this bubble it looks like inside this bubble because it's not on the outside it's like can you see that little spot so i don't know if something like ash got in the glass but um i love i love this one it is beautiful, like St. Patrick's Day, even in the fall. Pretty. That is so pretty. Got great waves and ruffles to it. But it is starting at 14. No chips or cracks in that whatsoever. I love the color pattern in there. The weight, um, the weight on that is one pound 4.7 ounces one pound 4.7 ounces on that no chips or cracks in there but it's a beautiful little i guess maybe a console bowl i don't know if it would be a candy dish um but i'm gonna go ahead and start the countdown this is starting at 14 10 9 eight seven six five four three two and one all right my next is a fixed price it is a set of nine and it okay. is um will you weigh that oh yeah i did i did weigh it one pound one pound, 4.7 ounces. Um, let's see. The next thing is a um, set of nine. I believe they're originally from, they do come in their original container. They were from Pier One, I think. Um, that's what, there was a piece of a sticker that looked like Pier One on there, but I'm going to open it up. There are, it is a set of nine and they are glass, teardrop 
ornaments. They've mm -hmm. got some um, clear line on there. Um, they are eat. They are, appear to be blown, but they are got the little loop like at the top of the vegetables that Michelle was talking about. But they come in several color. There is a red one. There is a clear one that has great like prism colors in there. If you can see that. And there is a pink color. And they, I love this pink color. That is so pretty. Um, now there, I'm going to put them all in here and show you. And then I'll tell you the measurements of these. But there is a set of nine. And they're in um, different colors and different lengths. That, and then. This one is a little bit lighter. So there's also a red. There's a beautiful red color, which I think you saw. And then there's a little bit lighter pink. Can y'all see that without my hand in the way? That's so pretty. And then this is, I love this pink. I don't have the chat anymore. I've refreshed twice. Um, John, did you lose the chat? I think somebody else say they lost the chat. Bree says she's lost the chat. And I just went out and back in and got it back. Yeah, I got it back now. Um, it's a this, fixed price, Bree. Sorry. Um, is, if you're talking about the ornaments, this is going to be a fixed price. And it is going to only be $15 for all nine. That's about a little over $1.50 each. And they are, the longest one is five and a half inches. The medium size is four and three quarter inches. And then it's three and three quarter inches. So it's, you know, three, four, and five. But I want to show you all the colors. This is a set of nine. It's going to be a fixed price. And it's going to be $15.00 number five, $15, number five for the set of nine glass ornaments. That's a good price. I love them. I think Christine should get those for the cats. Oh my gosh, you're gonna survive a week. Oh yeah, right, with the cats. I love those sort of things though. I've those seen before sweet. at Four Sandy's Lilac for those. Those were popular. Yeah, you have Bree. They are really pretty. Um, thank you, Sandy. And then my last item is going to start at $12. It is an offer up and it is a fairy lamp, but it's a little bit different kind of a fairy lamp. So we are starting at $12. It's what's called a pineapple fairy lamp. It is clear, but I'm a big bring back the clear. You can put any color lights in this or like Daniel has those tea lights that change colors. I thought that would be beautiful, but just the sparkle off the sunlight of this is amazing. So let me tell you the weight of this first. It is starting at $12. It is one pound, 11 and a half inches. This is the top of it. And on the top, let me make sure. No chips or cracks on the top. There's that's different in it, y'all. But I just love the sparkle of this. And um, on the bottom, this is the bottom. I do not have a mark or maker on that whatsoever. Now on the bottom piece, there are a few pieces. I'm hoping that y'all be able to see that. See right here. It's, it's not clear. rough at all, but it looks like. It's not rough at all, but it looks like there was a little bing on it. Probably where the top was put down on it. Too hard. You know how people. Yeah. So this fairy lamp is starting at $12. And why is there a gentleman outside my house? I'm going to need you not to be outside my house. Hmm. He's about to ring the doorbell, so just be prepared. He's about to ring the doorbell, and I hope Lovey drives up. So, yes. Do we have any takers for 
the fairy lamp for $12, the pineapple fairy lamp. We're going to ignore the doorbell because we're busy. And it is, yes, it is a good clear one. You can put any color in there. Seven and a half inches tall. And the base goes. Yes, Sandy's at 12. Sandy is at 12. Uh, it's about four and a half inches wide. The lid is, yes, four and a half inches. And it is, I mean, the sparkle in that is just beautiful. Sandy's testing our packaging skills. Yes. So Sandy is at 12. I just couldn't believe the top did not have any damage to that whatsoever. And I love the little pineapple crown on that. It's but cute. I like that it's different. I like that it's different too. It's not the stars of bars or the little egg style, but it's very different. And it's, if he rings my doorbell one time, I'm going to have to mute myself. So, Are you, are you going to go South Carolina or Texas on them? Well, it's more, way worse to go South Carolina. <laughs> but, um, all right, guys, we're going to start counting this down. We're at $12. The next bid would be $13, $10, $9, 8 7 I got stopped. <laughs> Five, four. Whoa, you're speeding up. Two, and one. And I'm going to push stop. And that is sold to Sandy at for $12. Wow. That's very good. Good job. And I think that's it for my five, Christine. Okie dokie. I'm back. Sorry, we all of a sudden, our sky opened up here and it's just hammering rain and stuff. So I'm hoping that's not going to mess with the connection and everything. All righty. You should have wore your hair higher. I know. I should have listened to Beth. So next up, I have this set. So you get the little these. It's an amberina style with the applied decorate. Uh, if I can put it in the thing, this clear applied decoration on it. There is no mark on the bottom. It is. Sorry, guys. It was a long day at work. <laughs> it is four and three quarter inches tall, and about two and a quarter inch diameter. And I'm trying to remember. I don't know. Yes, this one does have a little bit of the cadmium in the bottom. You can see it there. So this one does have a little bit of a glow. This is going to be a fixed price. This is not an offer up. So you get this one. Oh, can you see the orange there? There yeah. we go. If I try not to break it. And then this, which I realized in researching. So this is a crackle. And as I was learning, I believe this is what they call a pulled handle. And this one, the... It's got the cadmium in the arm. Now, I don't know if this is just a little, like I'm calling it a mini pitcher, or if this was supposed to be a cruet that might have had a little topper. This guy is four and a quarter inches tall and three inches across. I just thought the red and yellow, this would be a really cute set for fall because they're smaller for a vignette. The pair of them are going to be $16, number 27. $16. I can't believe John john didn't keep it for like bourbon or some other kind of liquor <laughs> i need something bigger he needs something uh, bigger he lives with me remember a sippy cup <laughs> <laughs> give him a straw okay then i'm going to do an offer up and this is going to start at twenty dollars and it is this large oh i have my notes hold on because I did some research. So this oh, one okay. is a diamond point, possibly Indiana glass covered candy dish compote, CCC. That's a lot to say. Yeah. And this guy is solid. He is, we're going to say two pounds, 15, about three pounds. And it is 12 inches tall by five and three quarter inches in diameter 
and the the diamonds on this are sharp and they are the four sided which makes it the diamond cut from what i'm learning and if i say anything wrong i apologize i'm still a newbie to the glass world so this big guy is starting at twenty dollars i took him out of my personal collection it hurt a little bit but i gotta share the love now sandy's testing my packing skills <laughs> Up. She's getting some great stuff. Oh, yeah. Yes. I love this. And imagine like this. I could see this with seashells in it because I live by the ocean or like white. Uh, those little fairy lights at Christmas time. If you do a blue and white theme. So we have Sandy at $20 and this guy is three pounds. So he's going to be a little. It'll be fun. It'll be good times. <laughs> I don't know why that color makes me think of like silver and white mm -hmm. like at Christmas or a really big martini glass you know just <laughs> salt, the rim. salt the rim salt the rim margarita okay I'm just gonna give it one more minute and like I said even when you're picking this up these are sharp they're not broken they're just that real good diamond pattern so this was a fun fun find okay so yeah, Sandy buys them as prizes for um, a club that she helps to run. Oh. That's neat. So that's where is she gets it, a lot of her stuff for. Is it the same kind of glove, you think? <laughs> I don't know. If it's, and this doesn't glow, guys. Okay, so I'm going to count down for Sandy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, out. That's going to Sandy. I'm afraid to put on this table over here, though, because I'm afraid it might collapse the table. <laughs> okay. Debbie says she's coming to your house if that's a margarita glass because you're a generous pour. Oh, yeah. You can see my wine glasses. <laughs> Debbie, she drinks out of a pitcher, not a glass. With a Listen to you. Listen to you. Okay. So I'm going to do another blue offer up. I'm going to make John run back to his computer because this one's starting at 15. Archery club? What kind of a dance club is that? <laughs> like, Making, buy me, buy me. <laughs> so this one has the one, oh. two, three, four, five, six, it has the nine fingers on it. And it's just a beautiful blue. It does have a little bit of a marking. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that where it almost looks like it's a glaze peel or something, but it's not actually, it's just a ripple. So I'm not sure you can feel it like there might've been a sticker or something on there when it was, when it was done and it's got the pretty petal still on the bottom. So Does this is starting at 15. I should probably, huh? When you flip that over, it almost looked like it had the stretch marks on it. Does it? Oh, it might. It's 10 and a half inches diameter. So it might be. You remember Beth, how Alice yeah. was talking about that? They it might be stretch. Stretch marks. Yeah. Like my hips. <laughs> yeah, I can show y'all some original, like, handmade stretch marks. This also would make a really great, like, Sunday dish for a family because, you know, it looks like the Sunday on the bottom. So I'm just going to give it one more minute at 15. Not seeing any takers. So it's going to go back on my shelf. That's what <laughs> she wants anyway. <laughs> Shush you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to close this one out. Stop. Oh, 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 man, Sandy, you're killing me. I'm going to have to send a couple different boxes. <laughs> she's, she's tickling herself now. She's laughing. She's like, this is the challenge. I'm up for it. I'll have coffee tomorrow morning and get after it. Thank you, Sandy. We'll call it for Sandy. Beth, is your dad the Randy Davis? Yeah. Like Randy Travis's cousin? No, well, no, no, not even close, but no. Okay. Hi, Dad. This next one is a fixed item, and it's a nesting hen. It's a pretty purple. I think it looks like a nesting turkey, but it's a nesting hen, apparently. I guess they're also called salt sellers. I go turkey. It's not a turkey because it doesn't have the thing. Well, it might be a girl turkey. Yeah. Hens <laughs> don't have a thing. I don't know how this all works. Oh, my. You forget New York. My sister's Lord. going with all the chickens, not me. 
it's four and three quarter inches long by three and a quarter inches across about john we're gonna need you off. to take her to a zoo yes. at least a petting zoo <laughs> a petting zoo so no, she can I see run a for female puppy doesn't have a thing mean to me that's because i'm not educated in the way of the farm life I oh can't your mom's gonna tell you about the turkeys and the birds the and the bees <laughs> oh boy mom oh oh i i i'm remembering stories about chickens running around with no with no heads when my sister's a little on a farm yeah that's how yeah. you okay. make them into breast thighs I just pulled them out of the, the, the refrigerator. I don't want to know anything else, okay? <laughs> so this nesting hen is $14, number 28, for this beautiful purple nesting hen salt cellar. Really great for fall and Thanksgiving coming up. I should have had one of these people that's sitting over here get the turkey call out. That way you might even know what they sound like. Well, oh, thank you, Carrie Ann. All right, guys, this is my last piece for the evening, and this one was tough. This, this, this hurt, but. That's why you some support. John, yeah. she needs a hug. This one's starting at $20, and it is this beautiful, beautiful green candy dish. I'm it's really coming up olive on the screen, but it's actually like a lime green. It's oh. coming up olive. And I could not find the pattern anywhere. It's got this kind of diamond uh, star on the side, and it just glistens beautifully. I thought the top was really neat, the lid. No chips, no cracks, no damage. I thought we were friends. Totally didn't get the inside scoop, so whatever. No. Love you, so. Hi, love you. Love you. And then this is the interior. Like it's, and it looks like it would glow, but oh, is that a maker's thing? It's got a G in the center of it. I didn't see that before. There's like a G right in the center down there. It reminds me of a snowflake. I was going to say icicles. Yeah, it's really cool. So $20. And if no one buys it, I can put it back on my shelf. <laughs> Give it a minute. You're not even counting for the lag. <laughs> It is seven and a half inches tall, or Michelle's going to steal it. Wait, did you say that's an offer up? Yeah. John, did you type in start 20? No. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. I said it was starting at 20. Sorry. I couldn't remember because we were heckling you. Sorry. <laughs> Don't get me all flustered. And it's Stop five on me. <laughs> and three eighth inches in diameter. Listen, you. Julie at 20. Go, Julie. You get it, girl. You get it. <laughs> oh, and let me tell you the weight on this, Julie, Gibson so you know the Lass. weight, too. Oh, Gibson. That could be. You know, I looked and looked at this thing, and I never thought to look in here. I was looking at the bottom. I didn't look at any of them, either. I just thought well, that there's definitely a G. So the weight on this one, and Julie, you can let me know if it's still okay, girl. It's two pounds, two ounces. So I think if I keep it under four, I can use that new international shipping and it'll, it, it should knock like 10 to $15 off the typical price. So yay, I'm okay with it going to Julie. <laughs> it, I'll, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Something else will come along. So we have this beautiful green guy for $20. We've got Julie at 20. I'm going to start counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, <laughs> 4, 3, 2, 1. You're going to go live with Julie now and it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. I still have this. It's okay. It'll be okay. Aww. Aww. Ask my husband, guys, if you don't know John. You can say hi. Uh, John, what's that? What? Hashtag Team John. I'm letting him grow a beard and it's coming in gray. Oh, you're letting love him. Oh, we know who wears the pants oh. now. And that's my five, guys. Julie said, are you sure? Are we going back to show the other ones? I haven't went yet. Oh, my bad. So Julie got that one. Thank you, Julie. Um, What was I going to ask you? Oh, Gibson glass. 
LaDonna, is there like a reference book on Gibson class? Because I've heard about it and I've looked up and found a little bit of information, but I'd like to learn more about it because people randomly talk about it. So yep. just wondering, that's just my little side. Okay, so let's see. Uh, first thing I have is this egg paperweight. I don't have any white paper. Nope. Okay, this brown box piece is gonna have to work. But it does show the little crystals inside. Yeah, it's like a flower. There you go, now you can see. And there's three of them. And the colors on them is like a yellow and like a black, dark blue, purpley color. And then they each have the center is a bubble where like a perfectly you can see it right there. Perfectly placed the bubble in the center. So controlled bubble. It does have a cloudy bottom and it's hard to see with this, but they brought, there you go. They brought the stems all the way down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it's um, called a fluted pulled flower. And there's your Let's see. education for today. Okay. <laughs> Um, it does have a clouded bottom. There's no writing on it, no signature, nothing like that. This weighs 11 ounces and it stands about three inches tall. If you're interested in this paperweight, it can be yours for $13 by typing in number 58. $13, number 58. I'm gonna clink this glass. I'm liking those paperweights these days. I am too. I was just looking, I thought I saw a small dent, but I didn't. Okay, nobody? Okay. The next thing I have is this pinch dish. That's the only thing I could find that this is called a pinch dish or an ashtray. Y'all can call it whatever you want if you'd like to buy it. Um, this does have a Japan stamp on the bottom or sticker on the bottom and it is a cloudy base, but it is hand painted and it has this floral oh. pattern. What is it? That's beautiful. Almost like me. Um, Almost. Uh, I'll throw in the beauty with it, okay? <laughs> um, so it's hand painted, these flowers, and then it has these gold accents going around it as well. But you can see where it's pinched, like back here. Whoops, sorry, back here where it's pinched. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if this was meant to be an ashtray. Probably because it was made in Japan. So, you know, smoking was the cool thing to do back then. You were a cool kid. Now you're not. So that's why we won't use this for that. Um, it's not Italian. It's got a Japan sticker on it. Um, and that's pretty worn in there because um, it's like it has a square underneath it where you can see a little bit has worn off. There's the imprint that's in there. So, it's okay, Debbie. Don't worry about it. So, anyway. Um, I don't think. Is this a flat price or offer up? Flat price. Okay, this weighs nine ounces. And I'm rounding up because when we ship it, we have to round up anyway. So, just don't, don't get mad at me, okay? All right. It's shaped like a triangle. So, I'm going to go from, like, the point to the other side. Um, four and a half inches from here to here. Okay. All right. If you're interested in this dish, it is $12, number 43. Wow. $12, number 43. That is beautiful. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. That make a beautiful little flower arrangement with a little bit of that foam in there and put the, or a flower frog. That would yeah. be beautiful. Yep. Okay, this next piece is an offer up. <clears throat> um, it starts at twelve dollars. 
Will it let them type in since I'm seeing she's going to. Yeah, she, it's randomly it's letting. I'm about to change their birth dates to like 1950. Anyway, did you just say number two is asleep? Okay. Anyway. Okay. The next thing I have, this is an offer up. It's starting at 12. This is a Viking handkerchief glass, handkerchief vase, and it is the black. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a black amethyst because it does have a tint of purple in certain light. This is a molded piece. You can see the seam lines at the bottom. So from here to here is molded. And then this piece, um, when I was reading about Viking glass, they scrunched the top just like Fenton did in a lot of theirs. So that this part is going to be individual. You can see it's not perfectly um, symmetrical. So that's what makes it different, I guess. I don't know. You all, this stuff is too fancy for just me. Just asking about if we had any black glass, but I don't know if she's yeah. still here because she asked specifically if we had black. Yeah, and I was trying to show it in the corner without showing it in the corner without saying I had black glass, but I did have black glass. So anyway, um, let's see if I can show you the purpley yeah. tint. Well, I'm afraid that's the black light coming off. Um, it's not going to show how I'm thinking and I'm not fancy like Alex and have a window back here and can go. But anyway, it does have a purple, well, it does have a purpley tint in certain places, but at the bottom it has like the thumbprint look and then it goes up to the handkerchief part, but it's a beautiful piece. No maker's mark. Oh, maybe at the bottom I could see it. There's something there. No, right. not a maker's mark. I could see the purpley. There's like right here. I can see it perfect. Is that a shadow that makes me think? I see vestments and vintage at 13. No, there's nothing on the bottom. But dang it. I was hoping you all would be able to see the purpley color. Anyway, oh, can you just trust me? It's like that. Black amethyst, purpley tint. Anyway, this weighs. Sandy's at 15. One pound, seven ounces. It is the front of the handkerchief part is seven and a quarter inches. The back part is nine and three quarter inches. And the widest part opening is about four inches. Vestments and vintage at 16. So first one to a hundred wins. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. And go. All right. We're at $16. Next bid would be 17. If you're Investment out from Sorry. Make sure you type out, y'all, so we know if you're out or not. Vestments and Vintage, that's Heather. Beautiful piece. I'm going to put it over here before I drop it. Good call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start counting down. Just get ready. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, <laughs> two. No one's saying out, so that's why I'm worried about it. And number two. One, oh. stop. Okay. Right, Andy said gets it for 16. Thank you, Heather. Yeah. Oh, Sandy, your out came way later. It's okay. 
Okay, the next thing I have, um, just this box of a picture of glass. Just kidding. We um, like these for, you know, yeah. displays. Uh, <laughs> think outside um, the box. What? We want to think outside of the box. Exactly. Uh, so this is going to be a fixed price. And it is Diamond Point, I'm sorry, Indiana Glass. And this is easy for me to describe. I'm going to sound very smart, okay? Uh, Diamond Point, two-piece, crimped candle holders, crystal. And this is mold number 0889. Ooh, that was a good year. Not year 89, mold 0889. <laughs> like wine. Yeah. Um, candles and flowers are not included. But what you do get is two diamond point crimped candle holders, crystal. And here is what they look like. They're gorgeous. Ooh. So the diamond point is that rough cut diamond point. Um, like you probably don't want to hold this in your hand for a long time because it's the rough diamond point. Okay, we got it. Um, so here's the bottom of it where you can see the mold and then it holds the taper candles. Now in the picture, I'll show you, it's the, to me, it looks like the chunkier taper candles at the bottom. So just wanted to show you that. And then here is the crimped top. Hmm. And there is two of them. Now each one is about three and a quarter inches tall by about three and three quarter inches wide and one of them has this sticker residue probably where it had the indiana glass um label i've tried goo gone i tried hot water and i did not want to keep trying because i'm afraid i'm gonna scratch it and where it's clear glass it will really be able to be seen so i didn't do that um let me tell you the weight of everything it does come with a cardboard separator you all saw this cardboard when i use it as a backdrop to show you the paper weight because i am fancy like that i feel like the chat is not moving so i'm having to make up for nobody speaking so <laughs> the weight of this these candle holders one pound ten ounces you can have these for the price of ten dollars if you put in number 52, $10, number 52 for the Indiana glass diamond point, two piece crimped candle holders, crystal number 0889, not the year y'all, the mold number. Okay. <laughs> God. okay. The last item of the sale before we go back through what didn't sell is this piece. Now people have oh. emailed me. I gotta be more extravagant. This is getting too slow. Um, people have emailed me and said, this is Murano. You all, it doesn't say Murano. So we're not going to assume that this is Murano. We are going to say that this is an art glass cat with a fish in its belly because it was hungry. So what do cats eat? They eat fishes. Okay. Now this has an applied green bow right here with two strands that are coming off. You can see that the cat's eyes are kind of dented in as yeah. long as well as the mouth. Here's some ears up here. This is a pretty chipper kitty, okay? Pretty chipper kitty, that's a key word. All right, here's the back where you can see the tail is also invented here, makes it for a great design. Now, this is a clear glass cat. So, are fingerprints gonna be shown? Yes. Yes. That's. <laughs> All I'm gonna say, okay? Um, Mackenzie, I didn't tell you I'm sorry. Because I was too excited about showing this. This is an offer up and it does start at twelve dollars. I've already typed that in because I was a little slow. Mackenzie, you can too if you feel like it, but you don't have to. Um, the fish is probably a goldfish. That's usually what cats like to eat. That's what their treats are shaped like. That's what they're called usually goldfish. So um, there is the little fish in its belly. And the fish is taking its last breath because there is a controlled bubble on the end of its oh, mouth. Oh, this is hard. Poor fishy. Last moments of life. 
Why do I? Oh my gosh! Oh my. <laughs> from this side, from the back side, you can't see that it took its last breath. From but from this side, you can. Okay, so I'm still amazed how they get that in there. Like twelve dollars for Sandy for the almost dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and at the bottom, there's two indents. Those are not cracks or chips. It's like that's where the feet start, where they pulled the feet out. So, Christine, if you watch that Blown Away, it shows you how they do that in one of the episodes. Okay, I'll have to. We started watching it and then got distracted. Yeah, they so. make the fish first. Yeah. Then blow this big clear part and then shove Set it in. in. Seal it. Blow some more, and then they crimp the neck, and then they poke the eyeballs. That's cool. cool. This is a very dreadful story. <laughs> As told by Michelle. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so we have Sandy. Sandy, you want the cat for $12. So I'm going to count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. <laughs> She said, your mom said, so sad. I know. Poor, poor fish. So, so sad. With its last little bubble breath. <laughs> poor fish. I remember that episode of Bones. Um, Kagan's <laughs> actually apart. allergic to cats, so we can't keep it in the house. It has to go. There you go. <laughs> okay, that's it. A lot of people say they're buffering. Say, um, Sandy keeps saying that she is a buffering too so um yeah yeah sandy you won the cat that cat with said fish is coming to your house all right christine are we going through what didn't sell yes we can do that okay sounds do you good. want me to do them all or do you want to spread it separate it like two three how do you want to do it I have three items to go back over. I think I have maybe, I have more than three. I don't know. I got to go get my sheet. Hold on. So do you, I mean, I, I mean, I all. however you want to do it, whatever you want to go through is fine. Okay. So I have a little um, pink one that was made. It doesn't have anything in its belly though. It's just a very plain penguin. No, no fish in the belly for the penguin. But it has some great blue color, that cobalt blue color in there. It does have the poked in eyes like Michelle's <laughs> cat. Does have its little beak there. And it has the ribbed wings here and a little tail. Um, it does have a little bit of a polish, but still cloudy bottom. And there is what appears to be a nick right I don't think that's it almost looks like they were gonna polish it and then decided mm, nah but uh, it's not rough or anything he is again he is seven dollars and he is about three and a quarter inch tall and two inches wide so this penguin paperweight is seven dollars number 12 seven dollars number 12 for the penguin paperweight i wish people knew how much work went into the glass like even if you go to because i've been trying to learn over the summer when i was like off work because <laughs> y'all know i wasn't on here that much um if you all only knew even like hobby lobby hand blown pieces how much work goes into those Compared to like that penguin, you need to watch that blown away show because yeah. they pull the wings out and crimp the sides. And it's like they had to do the blue first, then the clear. It takes so much time. They merge it together. It's a really cool show. Yeah. The Wexford, um, and it has on top, or I'm seeing a number, uh, 55 maybe. If I turn it up this way, it looks like 55. I can't see a mark on it, but I had a Wexford Cruet bottle. I just love these. It is in perfect. I see Sandy for number 12. Sandy for number 12. Thank you, Sandy. Um, but She's the really Wexford testing us. bottle, it's just one bottle, but it does have its stopper and it has the plastic to guard it um, there. But you know what? If I look, 
at that, it looks like that's the bottom. So it's not it's not a guard. It is the actual seal. So you could put oil and water in that. It is six dollars. Six dollars for this one is sorry, I've digressed. It was seven and a half, almost seven and three quarter inches tall. And it is six dollars number eighteen. Six dollars number eighteen for the Wexford Quit bottle. And I have for Miss Sandy the paperweight. Thank you. And I had the um, hand, well, it's mouth blown, hand painted ornaments that are painted from the inside. And I want to show the little gnome there, if y'all can see. Can y'all, is that focusing? Mm -hmm. The little gnome there and all the little windows, the tree branches on this so snowy scene. It even has like the fireplace inside. So this is hand, this is mouth blown but hand painted from the inside um, with 93 paintbrush. And it comes in its box with the story there. And it is $10, number 15. $10, number 15 for the ornament. I love the little gnome. You can even see his little facial features in there. And hold on. Um, the other ones that were set price was the set of two. This was a sugar and small shaker set. Now the small shaker, the pin needs to be set back in there. I just didn't know how to do it, so I didn't want to mess it up. But they're great retro 70s colors. Um, one has the diamond pattern and one is the clear, but it was $9 number 16 for the set. $9 number 16 for the two containers. I'm calling it a sugar shaker because I think that's what it is. I think it's for syrup. This one is for syrup? It's a syrup dispenser. Wow. Like you'd see in an old diner. Yep. I love syrup. Maybe it is syrup. I know. Every time I look at that, I'm like, I, I could eat more waffles. <laughs> oh, John said shake that sugar. Oh. Uh, John. <laughs> um, okay, my two <laughs> offer-ups. He's a mess. My two <laughs> offer-ups were the blue uh, coin. I think it's coin. I thought it was thumbprint at first. Um, but it is a coin compote. I'm calling it compote because it is a little bit thicker glass with the wider mouth. And Christine just said she learned that. But this one was starting at $12. So $12, five and a quarter inches tall and four and a quarter inches wide, no chips or cracks with this beautiful blue. And I think the pedestal is like the best part because it's got all the detail in that. So if you're interested in this, um, it is number three and we'll, it was going starting at twelve dollars. That would be good to match the blue piece Christine had. And the weight on that again was one pound five point four ounces, and then they will round that up. So it is pressed. And that's number three if you're interested in that. And the last thing that I had to reshow was the green and orange ruffle art glass. Bowl. That's pretty. And it was starting at 14. It's number 10. And it doesn't have a maker on there, but it is beautiful. That emerald green is so, so green. Oh, God. Look, I tried to show you on the front. I can't hold a piece of paper but behind it to show you. But it is very emerald green. And it does have a more polished bottom, no chips or cracks on that. And that was starting at 14, number 10. And those were mine that did not go today. Okay, let's see. So first off, I'm going to pre-introduce this guy. This is a green carnival glass piece. I guess it's a little creamer. I liked 
that the handle looks like carved wood mm -hmm. and it's got these really beautiful embossed flowers on it. The bottom does glow slightly with black light and it does go darker green to like a yellow green on the top. It's got the iridescence of the carnival glass. This piece was $15 and number 26. $15 number 26. Thank you, Sandy. Kathy, you coming to inspect what's going on? I've been on too long. Is that what you're saying? You gonna come say hi? <laughs> okay. Next up, I have this blue comport with the thumbprint pattern. It's that colonial blue style with the ruffle top. It was, let's see. He's literally sitting next to my chair. Six inches tall. This guy is $22, number 23. $22, number 23. And the last item I had was the set of Amberinas. It was the little bud vase with the applied decoration. And it does have a little bit of cadmium in it. And then the little crackle glass. This set was $16, number 27. $16, number 27. Thank you, guys. Alrighty, I have three items to show. The first one is this blue glass Japan crimped bowl ashtray type thing. And it's hand painted and has the gold detail on it. This was $12, number 43. $12, number 43. Then I also have this paperweight. And... To show you it is a flower pattern that has the stems pulled to the bottom with controlled bubbles in the center this paperweight was $13 number 58 $13 number 58 and then the last thing I have is Indiana Glass Diamond Point two-piece crimped candle holders, crystal mold number 0889. They're in the original box. No flowers or candlesticks are included, but here's what they look like. These were $10, number 52. $10, number 52. And that's all I got. Okay. Well, thanks everyone. We appreciate y'all coming out. That was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed all the, the glass and goodness. And as we mentioned, if you bought from us and you've not bought from us before, be sure to email us all your contact information. We like to get that within 24 hours so we can invoice for you as soon as possible. Um, coming up next on the 14th of August, there is going to be a drop sale hop. If you guys have followed my channel, I do, um, I try to most Saturdays do a 10 a.m. drop sale. Well, we are doing a vintage themed drop sale hop and it'll start on Beth's channel at 9 a.m. It'll go to my channel at 10, Michelle's channel at 11, and then Julie of AJ's Retro and Vintage will be showing her items at noon. So that'll be coming out and stay tuned. And do you all have anything you want to share? I know you guys have some stuff coming up on your channels. I have a sale this Thursday with Stephanie with Thrifting Adventures. So I'm excited about that in just day and a half. So y'all make so sure you're that. combining shipping. I can combine shipping um, if, between the sales, but if you um, want me to go ahead and put this out, I usually email afterwards and ask if they want me to um, go ahead and send everything out now, or if you want me to wait until after the sale, the next sale that I'm having it that close together so all right well thanks again guys we'll see you all soon take care bye thanks y'all